Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I've got a really important topic about testosterone boosting products and herbs and why they do not work for most people and why they can actually be harmful. And I do this because almost every week I get someone asking me about some testosterone boosting or erectile fixing herb or vitamin or pill or powder or potion or whatever. And I've made so many videos about this topic and yet the questions never end. And I think this is mainly because there's just too much wrong or misinformation online that just keeps being repeated by all these other people. It's like follow the follower, not follow the leader. So allow me to lead you to the truth about boosting your testosterone levels, how it should be done correctly, why most people are doing it incorrectly, and it's unfortunately causing more negative issues and they're also just getting ripped off, which I hate. So by now I hope you know that when your testosterone levels are high, you get a lot of great benefits. You'll be able to gain more muscle, you'll be stronger, you'll have less belly fat, you'll obviously have more energy, also your mind will work better, you'll think better and more clearly. You'll also be a lot happier and of course you'll live longer because it's a useful hormone and yes, your sex drive, your libido will be higher which also means stronger, bigger, fuller erections. Unfortunately, starting in your mid-20s, your testosterone starts to go down Right? While negative hormones, such as estrogen and other female hormones, uh, uh, DHT, dihydrotestosterone, your hair loss hormone, and stress hormones like cortisol, all start to go up in the opposite direction. Now, to make a money analogy, you're basically making less money while having more expenses. Obviously, this is not what you want. So now guys, right, they want to increase their testosterone levels, which is great. So they ask me, you know, does this herb work? or how much of this vitamin do I need, or how long before my testosterone levels go up permanently, and so on and so forth. Listen, first and foremost, you should never take one herb or one vitamin to fix something, all right? Just as you don't eat only one vegetable like broccoli all the time for good health, don't do the same with any one herb. Whether it's maca or fenugreek or tribulus, or maybe an amino acid like just L-arginine or aspartic acid or a vitamin or mineral like zinc or D or anything else. This is because your body will quickly adapt to that one ingredient, especially when it comes to your hormones. It's very complicated. Then you have to keep taking a higher and higher dose of that one ingredient to make it continue to work, which means more side effects and of course more money is being wasted. Obviously, you don't want this. Eventually, when you go off and stop using that one ingredient, which we all have to do sooner or later, your body will crash and your hormones will be completely you know, unbalanced and even worse than when they were when you first started. Now you basically feel like crap. Now, the secret is to use multiple ingredients at the correct dose and extract. That's where it's important. Each having their own specific you know, benefits because they each work differently. This way you can use a lower dose and get more benefits with less potential side effects and it'll work longer before your body starts to adapt a little bit. This is also why, for example, bodybuilders stack different steroids in a cycle, right? Lower doses of three different drugs combined will produce more positives and less negatives than just using one drug at a higher dose. I hope this makes sense. There's a point of diminishing returns with any substance, whether it's food, drugs, herbs, and so forth. Secondly, and most importantly, increasing your testosterone level is a nice start, but that should not be your main goal. The original problem is not the decrease in testosterone. The main issue is the increase in the negative, what I call anti-testosterone hormones, such as female hormones like estrogen, prolactin, as well as the hair loss hormone, DHT, dihydrotestosterone. As these hormones go higher and higher due to stress and primarily aging, they will then cause a negative feedback loop in your body to then decrease your testosterone levels in the production. This is the problem. Again, to use money as an example, you're going to basically be making less profits because you have a lot more expenses. I hope this makes sense. Nobody wants this. Plus, as you age, your body produces more negative enzymes such as aromatase and 5-alpha reductase, thus converting testosterone more quickly to these negative estrogen DHT levels, especially as you get older. End result is even less testosterone 
and more of these negative hormones. In fact, this is why as you age and get older, your testosterone levels decrease, right? You start to get fatter. You may start to get kind of man boobs. You have a lower sex drive, start to get hairy in all the wrong places. And of course, you start to lose head hair and start thinning. These negative conversions from testosterone to the female and stress hormones is the real cause. So by you taking any one of these testosterone boosting herbs without blocking these conversions will cause your testosterone to go up temporarily, but then come crashing down after a couple of weeks. But now you have even more estrogen and DHT, but even lower testosterone because of all the conversions. Yes, I know this gets a little bit complicated, but basically your goal needs to be the following. First, you want to increase your total testosterone. Think of that as like, you know, your total revenue when you're making money. Then you want to increase your free testosterone levels. This is like your net profits, all right? Again, another positive. Then you want to decrease negative hormones such as estrogen, DHT, and stress hormones. These are like your expenses or bad employees in your business are just ruining things. The end result is higher testosterone, lower negative hormones, and you'll be able to maintain these positive, useful levels for much longer without side effects because your body won't quickly be adapting. It's at a good balance. This is how your body used to work as a teenager in your early 20s when you were healthy and happy. So let's get to these youthful, healthy levels again when things are optimal and balanced, but do it naturally. No drugs, no prescriptions, no injections. And I know this got a little bit complicated, again, as I said earlier, uh, but watch this video again, maybe one or two times to give you more clarity. Additionally, more importantly, click the link below this video in the description area, right? Um, you'll get more details and you can actually copy the same formula I've been using since 1999 to optimize and balance my testosterone levels so I can build more muscle, obviously have better erections and basically feel and look younger. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.